Hey guys, today I filmed for you this look on the holiday, berry, very festive look that would be perfect for a holiday party or if you just want to look really festive for a date or whatever you want to do. But it's very holiday appropriate because I've got the red eye makeup and the dark bold lip. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to get started by putting on my foundation base. I'm going to do my foundation, my concealer, and my eyebrows. And then I'm going to get back to you. I have full foundation, concealer, eyebrow routine down below. If they're not as updated as you'd like, I will do some updated ones coming up. But it's pretty much just however you like to do them. So I'm going to do those real quick, and I will be right back with you. I feel like today, because this is a festive Christmas tutorial, I would like to go with something red because I feel like red is a very classic Christmas color and I feel like it's also one of those colors that people feel like they can't wear because they feel like, oh, red's not going to look good on me. But you're wrong. Red looks badass on the eyes and I really think that you should give it a shot. So uh, just get going. I'm going to be using my Coastal Sense 252. I'm going to go full on bold red today with some smokiness on the outer lashes. Maybe red lip, maybe nude lip, we're going to see. Let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to be primarily using these three brushes. The first brush that I'm going to use is my Zoeva Lux Soft Definer. It's like my holy grail brush. Um, another brush I'm going to use is my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush and my Zoeva Lux Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to be starting with a blending color using the Zoeva Lux Soft Definer and a light peachy shade. Then going in with a lighter toned red out of my Coastal Sense 252 palette, I am going to use that and blend it a little lower into the crease to make it a nice soft transition blending, but mostly sticking to the outside edges of the eye. Then taking one of the darker red shadows, I am going to just line the outer portion of my eye going up into the crease. Now I know that this looks crazy at this point, but once you start blending it out, it really starts to take shape and come together, especially when you throw lashes on and put your liner on. Don't ever worry until you get to that point where after you've done that and it still looks bad, but pretty much every time you put lashes on, it brings everything together. Now using the Luxe Petite Crease Brush, I'm going to take that dark red shade from the Coastal Sense 252 and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Taking this beautiful cranberry burgundy shimmer out of the Coastal Sense palette, I'm going to pat that onto the center of my eyelids just to really give it that wet looking dimension. And if you want to lighten the center up just a little bit more, you can use any sort of highlight that you have. You can use, um, I'm going to use the MAC Soft and Gentle because it's more of the peachy tone versus the Mary Luminizer. Um, and then I'm just going to pat that, like I said, the same as I did before. I'm just going to pat that into the very center and then I'm going to blend it out and you'll see the effect that it gives. Now just take a little bit of highlight and highlight your inner corners. I just do that with my ring finger as well. Then I'm going to take and do a super dramatic winged liner. I mean, for that, I'm going to be using my Blink Ultra Thin Liquid Eyeliner Pen. This is my holy grail black eyeliner. But I'm just going to line the upper lash line to make it wing out into the red that's also winged out. Then I'm going to take some of the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Pencil in black and line my upper and lower water line and just to make those really smoky and dark. Then I'm going to pop on some mascara and some lashes. I'm going to be using the Vincent Longo volume plus mascara in black and I'm also going to be using the House of Lashes iconic lashes which will come as no surprise to anybody because those are my absolute favorite. Alright so I've got my lashes on and I'm going to now use this Be A Bombshell Cosmetics Blind Date blush. That's the color there and I feel like it will go really well with this look. I'm going to be applying this using my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to gently put it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight on this fucking brush that I just threw on my face. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight on this fan brush that I have from Coastal Scents. Then for a tad bit of contour, because this whole look is warm, I want to continue to keep it warm. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, but I'm going to use these two shades here. So that's the face and eyes done. I do need to move on to lips, but I don't quite know what I want to use, so I'm going to do a couple of different lip combos for you that are going to be more to the wearable side and then more to the bold side. For the light nude lip, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite nude lipstick, which is, it's either Circe or Circe or one of those two. It's from NYX, and it is, I, I don't know, is it a butter lipstick? What is it? I don't really know. It's a NYX lipstick, and it is such a pretty nude. Now, granted, 
it's very light. But if you pair it with a little bit of a pinkier gloss, it is a really pretty nude. It is super light, but wearable. I'm going to pair this with Tiramisu, which is one of the NYX Butter Glosses. And this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Licorice. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a great holiday season. If you guys like this makeup look and you would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button below and it will update you when I put out a new video. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, those are all at Raw Beauty Christie. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.